Hey fam, so I'm going to jump right into the tutorial. These are the items you'll need to get started. Gel, braiding hair, rubber bands, and a rat tail comb. And another comb for detangling. So I'm actually refreshing my daughter's hair. She had her braids for about two weeks. So instead of washing it, I'm just going to go in and take out each braid. Right now you'll see me spraying water and using oil to get that little... I guess build up that comes right there when you have your braids and then I take a towel to just rub it out and then I'll go in and detangle and yeah and then it's refreshed as you can see right there so then I go in with the magic finger gel and use that to get my part straight well they're semi straight <laughs> and then also just to make sure that base is really sleek and then I am using the rubber band method. So you're going to take your rubber band and put it at the base. Right now you see me holding up the three pieces of hair. So, well, it's actually one complete strain of hair, but you're going to take it and break it into three parts. And then you're going to use the middle part to match your hair that's going to be left out in the middle. And then you'll begin to braid. So I tried to do this in real time so that you could see what I was doing. Also, just take your time and know that you don't have to go fast to get the braid to look right. You can definitely go slow. Also, when you're going down, you can borrow hair to make sure each braid is even. Sometimes when you do this method, the middle will be bigger than the other pieces on the side. And you can just continue to borrow hair. And that's what we did. And then you're just going to braid it all the way to the bottom. I did leave a little bit out on the end because we're going to do some curls. So what I did is I put a rubber band at the end so it wouldn't unravel until I could put the roller on. So this is me just tying up the end. And so from there, you're going to roll the ends and then you'll have your curl. What I didn't show also with the ends is that you need to put it in hot water since the water is boiling hot, I did not try to record that. But if you've ever gotten braids, then you know that you have to set the hair with hot water so that the ends will not unravel. So this is me just going back in and doing that same method, refreshing the braid, putting the gel, the rubber band, and then going into braid. I will say that you also don't have to section the hair in three parts. You can just have your hair and fold it over where it's just two pieces of braiding hair and your hair is the middle piece that does also work it just means that when you get to the end of your hair and you still have braiding hair left you'll have to start borrowing hair from the other two pieces to make it a complete braid hope that makes sense definitely let me know if you have any questions and this is some mousse that I use to do the end of the the curls that is definitely optional this is me taking the curl out after I rolled them so you'll sit there and take out all the curls and then my daughter wanted to do some little fun hair jewels so that's what we did I also did forget to put the mousse in before I started putting in the hair jewels so you will see me in a second go back and <laughs> put that in but yeah, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. You guys can definitely braid your kid's hair. I know it may seem challenging, but with practice, you can get it. And it also helps to save a little money and not have to pay someone to braid it if you can get this down. We definitely still will pay someone to braid it, but it's nice to have this option. And at this point, my daughter was really feeling her hair. She loved all the little jewels and she also had a little bit of purple in there so like I mentioned this is me putting in the mousse and yep that's it this is the finished style so hopefully we'll get a few days or weeks out of this and thanks for watching